hey, if you're struggling and you wake up in the morning, you're like, I don't know what to post. I'm not sure. I don't want content. I don't know what I should post today. And you get overwhelmed with it. Well, then this podcast episode is for you. Let's do it. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. So, hey, guys, I get the question a lot, like, what do I post? You know, Chris, posting three to four times a day is a lot. Posting every day is a lot, Chris. How do I how do I come up with content? How do I know what's good content, what content works, and um, what do I post on brand? And I get a lot of questions about this. And one of the easiest things that you can do is, specifically in Instagram, you can go – uh, into your profile, you click on your image, and on the top right corner, you should see those three lines. You click on that, and then you can click on your insights. And you can sort your posts that you've previously posted for the last year, and you can see which ones did great, which ones got the most likes and comments. I think even when you do post on Instagram and then you scroll past your feed, it'll tell you when you've nailed it, and they'll say, man, this post is doing... or 95% better than your other posts. I just scrolled down line and I had a winner just the other day and it's like, okay, you know, people like that. So I need to do more of that. And and, and so go back into your feed and see what works, see what crushed it out and and try to come up with more stuff and see what is it that your fans and your people that are following you are liking and engaging with and do more of that. Don't copy the exact same thing, but try and do more stuff. It's like, okay, they liked it when I did that. For me, I noticed a lot of people like some of the lyric cards. I like some of the more spiritual stuff I posted when it was more Christian leaning, which was interesting. Um, they liked it with some of the success. They liked seeing some of the family stuff. It was really interesting to see what your fans um, like. There's a, a specific quote card that I have that says, uh, uh, fighters and someone never fails, the fighters and someone never quits. And you know what's interesting? I post that thing all the time. Like, I don't want to say all the time, but I'll post it maybe once every other month. And guess what? It gets even more likes and more likes every time. And this is the thing. You think that just because you've posted it once, you can't post it again. No, 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 no. You need to save your winners to a Dropbox folder or save it to a folder on your phone. And whenever you're, you know, like, I don't want to post today, post one of your winners. You know, make a big uh, folder of them of like 10, 20 and start to build that thing up. And so that when you are strapped with an idea and you really just don't know what to post, go post one of your old winners. You know, I recycle content all the time. And they've said that it's actually proven that once people have seen something once or liked something before, they're, they're, they're likely to uh, like it again and comment again. So that's uh, that was a, a real game changer for me when I realized that like, hey, People are cool to see something again and then comment and like it. You don't always have to have original, original, original content and uh, like like brand new stuff. And I know you're a creator. I'm a creator. We love to create new things. We love to write new songs. But just like us, like with artists and the greatest hits, it's amazing to me when I even post old songs that were hits. People love that. You know, I have a a bunch of my hits, No Plan B, Impossible, Avalanche, Every Time You Run, Renegade. I can repost those things for days and people will not complain because it's a hit. Well, same thing with the social media post. If it's an awesome photo or it's a really cool post or whatever it is, video, if it's a hit, it's a hit. And repost that thing and don't feel like you always have to come up with brand new content every day. Do I suggest, though, that you, like block some time and create a whole bunch of posts ahead of time and schedule them ahead of time. I think there's later gram, there's Hootsuite, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do to, um, to schedule your posts and sit down. I know one of my buddies, he, he gets, he's busy during the day always creating. And so he schedules them all at night for the week. You know, what if Sunday night before the week started, you just scheduled your posts for the week and then you don't even have to think about it. And then maybe maybe Wednesday or Thursday you can check in and on an evening there you can um, you can uh, schedule more and get that done. 
you know, so there's so many ways that you can uh, go about doing that. So I hope that gives you some valuable info. And if you're not an Instagram user, maybe you're just a Facebooker, well, go on Facebook and you can go into Facebook Insights and you can see what your top performing posts were and which ones did the best. And I'll give you another little secret here. Hey, on the ones that did amazing, why don't you boost those? You know, if people are already liking and commenting it, give it a little bit of boost and, and show it to some more people because it'll get even more traction. Because if it's an older post, then it's, you know, it's, it's dead now. Well, why don't you breathe some new life in it and throw 10 bucks at it, throw 20 bucks at it and target some people and put a link back to your music or back to your merch store or something like that and get some new eyeballs on it and breathe some new life into it, okay? So many cool ways because, like, you don't want to just boost anything, right? You want to boost the ones that you know crushed it. So there you go. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so that you can get the more content that I'm releasing. Also, if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fanbase University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. All also, you get access to exclusive training, you get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, fanbaseuniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.